and the earliest fossil life forms yet identified on Earth date from right here at 3.75 billion years ago. These early life forms are sufficiently sophisticated to suggest that life had already been evolving for quite a while, but they don't exactly add up to Saturday night in the big city. For a very long time, the most complex life forms on Earth were these blobs of single-celled bacteria and algae called stromatolites. They may not look like much, indeed they look a bit like rocks, but they were the stars of the show for the next three billion years. That's three kilometers on down the highway here. It'd take us a while to walk it. We'd better drive. Even at 100 miles an hour, it takes a full minute to traverse the long, dull time during which life on Earth took few more complex forms than bacteria, algae, and plankton. That's been the dynamic of evolution here on Earth. Not a slow progression from so-called lower to higher life forms, but long periods of relative stasis punctuated by sudden bursts of innovation. The most dramatic burst of biological inventiveness occurred here just over half a billion years ago when a whole array of creatures equipped with claws and teeth and tentacles appeared in what is aptly called the Cambrian Explosion. Its cause is something of a mystery, but the forms taken on by nearly all the organisms on Earth today represent variations on plans invented during the Cambrian. Kind of makes you wonder just how exotic extraterrestrial life might be. The events that loom largest from our human perspective all lie along this very last stretch of highway. Mammals appeared 200 million years ago, just 200 meters back up the highway. Our distant ancestors learned how to walk upright there a little under four million years ago. And Homo sapiens appeared here. The whole human story lies in this last half a meter, easily overlooked on a five kilometer highway through time. Humans became big game hunters here about 40,000 years ago. They learned to plant crops here. And here they developed writing at first to keep track of who had how much grain in the local granary, later to record the motions of the planets in the course of human affairs. All recorded history, the rise and fall of empires, every innovation from the building of the pyramids to the invention of print lies in this last few millimeters. And as for science, well, modern science came along so recently, you'd need a microscope to see it. It's hard to know how likely or common intelligence is when it's shown up so recently in Earth's history. So the short history goes like this. Life early, but the familiar life that we think of, plants and animals, that is really a relatively recent development on this planet. And intelligent life, people like ourselves, technologically competent humans, that's just a snap in the full history of the planet. When paleontologist Peter Ward looks at Earth's track record, the odds for technological aliens don't seem very promising. There's maybe 30 million species on the planet today. And if we look at the fossils, there are hundreds of millions of species in the past. But only one of them which has risen to technology. It's happened one time out of hundreds of millions of possibilities on planet Earth. One time. One time only. So that's an astronomically small number.